To all my friends, present, pass and beyond. Especially those who weren't with us too long. Life is the most precious thing you can lose. While you were here, the fun was never ending. Life a minute was only beginning. Can I call it niggas? This one for you.
Only God knows. Only God knows where that train load gonna go. Only God knows. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It feels so good to be here in Chicago, Illinois. Thank you so much. Well, now, I'm starting to get warmed up. <laughs> Let's do, do me a favor, would you get a fist in the air right now? Everybody, keep it up there. You're gonna know what to do with it. Ben's foot is gonna teach y'all what to do with it. So here we go. Keep him up, Bear. What are you doing?
Everybody wants something, nobody want to pay nothing. Everybody wants something, nobody want to pay nothing. Hey, hey, go on, have a hey, hey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a bunch of brand new songs I want to play for y'all tonight. They're really good. I, you know me, I wouldn't do it to you if they weren't. I've never steered you wrong before, I promise you, I won't. But, uh, but first things first, I want to, I still feel like I need to get warmed up a little bit. And I want to give Ben back there on the drums a workout. <laughs> and we might as well wear this, uh, this three string uh, cigar box guitar out too. This thing, this thing, as cigar box guitars go, this is one of the crudest on planet earth. This is a one by two glued to a cardboard box. Most of these things are made out of like different, different kinds of cheap wood. This isn't even cheap wood, this is paper. This is a paper box glued to a, a, a one by two with three strings run across two bolts from the hardware store. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to make it sound like both a bass player and a Gibson Les Paul. That's my plan, if all goes well. This song is called Easy Come, Easy Go. them all anyway and it's easy come and it's easy go in our life and how they go we don't need them anyway
you so much. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to play a brand new song for you. But before I play this song, I got to make sure that uh, that this guitar is working really good. It's kind of a finicky thing. It's a it's a 1955K Speed Demon. <laughs> and you know, I want to make sure you can hear my bass player, my thumb. You hear my bass player? Can you tell me if you is this. Can you hear that? Is that working? You hear that, right? All right. How about lead guitar? My fingers. You hear them? Is that coming through? How about this? Tell me, did you hear this? If that's working, then maybe tell me if you hear this. Screwing around, we'll get back singing a song. <laughs> I was just showing off. Let me sing you a song now. I was just showing off. No, don't, 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 don't. Get that. I don't deserve it. I was being a show off. I don't deserve it. <laughs> and I want to play you a real heavy song right now. This is a brand new song. This song is called Dirt. And I want to tell you about this song. I was in this cafe, all right? And these fellas come in off the street and they'd been working. They weren't dirty. They'd been working. There's a difference, all right? And they come in and they, they sit down to have lunch. They probably had 20 minutes to make it back to the job before they was fired. And these people sitting between us and them, they started talking real loud about how dirty these folks were. And loud enough to where they could hear them. They wanted them to hear so that maybe they'd leave or feel embarrassed or whatever. And it really bothered me. So anyway, I wrote this song. It's a brand new song. It's called Dirt. And it goes like this. with the work on their clothes come in to have some lunch they start in catching some grief from the table of the wine and cheese bunch all whispering thumb in their nose surrounded by silver and lace these people would not know hard work if it jumped up and bit them in the face But you can look down on the hands of the man with the shovel in his hand. But there's one thing that you want to know. You want to know. At the end of the day, when the shovel put away, that turtle come away with a little bit of lava soap. Lava soap. But that dirt that's on your hand so soft. That job was They worked their fingernails.
nails down to little nubs Hands callous like a catcher's mitt When you all complain about the cold They're outside working hand head Whispering, thumbing, marin' pose Surrounded by silver hand lace These people wouldn't know hard work If it jumped up, bit them in the face But you can look down on the hands of the man With the shovel in his hand But there's one thing that you ought to know Day when the shovel put away that turtle come away with a little bit of lava soap. Lava soap. But that dirt that's on your hands so soft. That dirt don't wash off. shovel in his hand, but there's one thing that you ought to know, you ought to know, and to end of the day when the shovel put away, that turtle come away with a little bit of lava soap, lava soap, but that dirt that's on your hand so soft, that turtle don't wash off. It's all wash y'all. It's all wash y'all. That dirt that's on your hands so soft. That dirt's all wash y'all. It's all wash y'all. It's all wash y'all. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I told you it was pretty good. <laughs> I want to play another brand new song for you. I promise it's good. I promise you. I wouldn't do it to you if it wasn't. I promise you. You know me. Well, you know me. Well, you know me. I wouldn't do it to you. This song, this song's interesting, though. When I first played this song for the band, Ben back there on the drums, he said, that song is adorable. That's adorable. And I didn't know if I liked adorable necessarily. And he also said it was carbonated. He said, that song is adorable and carbonated. And I'm like, okay. I got to thinking about it. You know what? I think he's 100% right. But I want to play it for we. It, it may be adorable, it may be carbonated, but we think it's pretty fun to play. This song is called Pot Roast and Kisses. Sand kisses 
Thank you so much. Thank you. We love y'all too. Thank you so much. Now, do you feel warmed up or what? I feel pretty warmed up. I feel pretty warmed up. What I'd like to do now, what I'd like to do now is uh, think of this kind of like the seventh inning stretch. What's going to happen is on this next song is when I sing clap your hands, y'all are going to clap your hands like this. Clap them. Harder. Stop. Hold on. Stop. This is not going very well. The problem is, I think, well, who's got a drink in their hand right now? Raise them up high. Let me see them. Raise them up high. Higher. I can't see them. It's dark. All right. Okay. Now pound them. I need your hands free. 
Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Drum roll. This is taking forever. I got a tight schedule. I got to keep. All right, let's try this again. Okay. All right. I said clap your hands like this. Everybody. Harder. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, second verse. When I sing, stomp your feet. Y'all are going to stomp your feet like this. Stomp them. Harder. Want to hear them boots? I actually heard that one. That was pretty good. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, Chicago, Illinois, the third verse is the money verse. This is the one that really makes or breaks the night. This is when we decide how the rest of the evening is going to go. When I sing, scream out loud, you will... Ladies and gentlemen, where I come from, at best, that was called a hollering. That was not screaming. There's a difference. Let me explain the difference. Maybe you don't know. When dinner's ready, you holler. Dinner's ready. Come and get it. That's, that's hollering, all right? You scream when someone has whittled down a toothbrush in prison and stabs you in the spleen. That is when you scream. Let's try it again. I said scream out loud. That is more like it. All right, no more dress rehearsal. This is the real deal now. Here we go. Let me just get my bass player warmed up here. Here we go. I'm glad you know I'm glad you know I'm glad you know I'm glad you know 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is what I'm talking about right there. Thank you so much. How about Dom Flemings and Dex Ron Weber open up the show? What do you think? You know what? Uh, if y'all are really good, if y'all are really good, then I might be able to bring them back up with me later on. You gotta be good. But I have, uh, I have some pals here. Uh, I have some pals here tonight, and uh, I really wanted to hear a couple, a couple of my brand new songs. And I hope you don't mind. I'm trying them out on y'all here in Chicago. But uh, like I said, I wouldn't do it to you if I didn't think it was if it was worth it. I wouldn't do it. So I promise you, they're pretty good. Let me check this uh, harmonica here. This next song right here is a uh, is absolutely made made by the big damn band back here. They sing it so well, it, it, it just completely, it, it just completely makes this song. I love singing it with them. They just sing it so well. This is a brand new song. It's a, it's called Scream at the Night. And, and the reason that I, I'm, I'm proud of it is probably a completely different reason y'all like it for. I like it because in country blues, the song is pretty standard except in the beginning and in the, in the, in the choruses, like, my thumb does what my fingers should do, and my fingers do what my thumb should do in terms of, like, country blues finger style guitar picking. That means nothing to you, probably, but... To no one in the world that, other than maybe Dom. Yeah, Huggins maybe me and Dom back there are the only people that care. But, uh, but anyway, I'm proud of it. This song's called Scream at the Night. But that trailer suit and a pile of loot gets you a heart attack and a long commute. And what has become a freedom? Well, I've seen some. And it's backpacks and train tracks, not lawn care or contracts. And we don't need another. And I turn on the TV to see what's going on, but something's wrong. None but lies, I can't get along. And I'm getting too sick of the music. The pop charts are pop tarts with empty songs with no hard hands. We don't hear
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, you know that we, we come from and live a pretty rural existence. And uh, it is just the way we like it. And uh, it's fun to come visit the city, but, uh, but it's just uh, we like to retreat back home to Brown County, and uh, one of the things, uh, one of the things that that kind of life has afforded me is, uh, well, I guess I'll tell you this story about this next song. There's a group of fellas that uh, that I always remember that come out to see us when we play in Washington D.C. And the reason I always remember is because there is a radio DJ out that way that has kind of like been a really good friend to us and helped spread the word about us, and uh, and he he and I have a lot in common. But uh, anyway, long story short. One time they asked me after the show, they said, Rev, where did you learn to pick the guitar that way? Who taught you how to do that? Did you, did you like take lessons? Did you go to school for it? And I said to him, I said, nah, I was front porch trained. <laughs> and uh, so now when we go to Washington DC, they, they yell that to me, they'll go front porch trained. And, and uh, but anyway, uh, I, I wrote the music to this song, and I kind of, it's based on something I wrote when I was like 14 years old, but, but I wrote the music to this song, and I was going, man, what is this song about? I couldn't come up with words for it. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, the more I played, the more I was like, nah, this song is called Front Porch Train. That's what this song's called. So it's a brand new song called Front Porch Train, and this one is neither adorable nor carbonated, by the way. <laughs> Good on the front porch. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I never did a deal with the devil. I never sold my soul. The good Lord knows it didn't have to, cause I got good on my own. Cause I spent a lot of time in the woods here. Good on the front porch. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I never went to music school. 
Good on the front porch. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I never did a deal with a devil. I never sold my soul. The good Lord knows you have to, cause I got good on my own. Cause I spent my time in the woodshed. Good on the front porch. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. I'm front porch train. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. I told you new songs were good. Thank you so much. This song is called Devils Look Like Angels.
Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out here tonight. Thank you. It means so much to us. You don't even understand. It means the world to us. Thank you so much. I tell you what, for a while we, we it was just it was too long between our, our shows here in Chicago. I promise if you all will keep coming out, we'll keep coming back, all right? I promise. I promise you. I want to play. Uh, I want to play a song. This one is uh, is especially uh, special for me to be playing here in Chicago because uh, this is this is kind of a Chicago sort of song. It's a. Uh, this was a song that was made famous by somebody you might have heard of, a fellow by the name of Bo Diddley. That's right. But Bo Diddley didn't write this song. It was written by one of the greatest American songwriters that ever lived, a fellow by the name of Willie Dixon. And Willie Dixon, if you don't know who he was, he wrote all of the best songs for Chess Records in the 1940s. Chess Records, of course, Chicago Blues record label. And this song right here is one that I love, and it's a song that I personally live every single day. This song is called You Can't Judge a Book by Its Cover. judge an apple by looking at the tree. You can't judge a honey by looking at the bee. And you can't judge a daughter by looking at her mother. You can't judge a book by looking at the cover. Can't you see? You can't judge me. I look like a farmer, but I'm a lover. You can't judge a book by looking at the cover. Judge a sugar by looking at the cane, and you can't judge a woman by looking at her mane, and you can't judge a sister by looking at her brother. You can't judge a book by looking at the cover. And she see you may have judged me. I look like a farmer, but I'm a lover. You can't judge a book by looking at the cover.
so much, y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you so much. It means so much to us. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night, tomorrow night we're going to be in Detroit. Then we're going to be in Cleveland, Ohio. Then we're going to be in Buffalo, New York. Then we're going to be in a blizzard. Then we're going to be in a blizzard. <laughs> then we're going to be in Syracuse. We're going to be in uh, New York City and uh, Washington, D.C. and a bunch of places. If you have pals in any of them places, you let them know the big damn band cometh. All right? And we're going to be bringing uh, Dom and Dex with us on, on a bunch of them days. Yeah, Dex is with Dex us is on a month. bunch of them, like the rest of the month. And Dom's going to be with us for Until the next the few days. Until the cops catch back up with him. He's with <laughs> us. But, man, I, I tell you what. I, I, I really just uh, I can't say thanks to you all enough. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, thanks for being so good to us. What I think I'm going to do now, I think, uh, let's go to church. What do you say?
so much. Thank you. Thank you all so much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I want to say thanks to Lou Shields who opened up the show. He's not, he's not with us on tour, but he did an awesome job. He's from here in town. I want to say thanks to, uh, to Dex Rom Weber and the Dex Rom Weber duo for playing. And I, and I want to say thanks right now to uh, one of my best pals, Mr. Dom Flemons, who's going to come up here right now and help me with a song. Now, I want to I wanna brag on my friend a little bit, if you don't mind, if you'll indulge me. I want to brag on my friend. You see, uh, 
Dom Flemings is one of, and this is not an exaggeration, he is probably the, the greatest living scholar of American roots and old time music that is alive today. I'm not kidding you. His knowledge of American roots music is mind blowing. He is a, he is a, he, like, they ought to call him the professor. That's why I say he's like, he's like, a, he's like the, a professor when it comes to this stuff. He could, he could teach it at the, at the doctorate level. But, uh, see, see, one time, I'm gonna tell you a story. One time we were at this festival and we were talking, we were hanging out backstage. We already knew we had a lot in common. We we're gonna be good friends. We already knew we were friends. But, but I, I brought up the Pratcher brothers. All right, there's these brothers. They were the Pratcher brothers. And, and they'd only ever really released two songs by these fellas, all right? And the two songs were my favorite, they're my favorite band. The Pratcher brothers are my favorite band, all right? But I only had two songs by them. They were recorded by Alan Lomax. I had two songs. But I knew they were my, 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 my favorite band. And, and, and I, I bring it up to Dom expecting him not to know who the hell I'm talking about. He goes, oh, yeah. He goes, I know them. He goes, in fact, I know where you can get two more songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he knew where there was two more songs. They had never really released them, but they put them in some archive somewhere, and he was able to get me two more songs. He doubled my collection of Pratcher Brothers songs, my favorite band. Now, you probably never heard of them because they, they never really did, you know, real records. They were recorded, you know, just just uh, by, by Alan Lomax to have the equipment in the back of his car or something. And, uh, and, uh, but anyway, I want to play one of these songs with my buddy Dom right now. And uh, this is one of my favorite songs. If this, if, if this song don't move your feet, then you're dead and you need to just go, just end it right now. <laughs> this song is called, I'm Gonna Live Anyhow Till I Die. Oh, yeah. And Dom's gonna be, he's gonna, make, he's gonna be singing lead and he's gonna be playing the bones right there. Yeah. Woo! so good. He's so good. We, we love him so much. 
I want to invite to the stage the Dex Rom Weber duo, Dex and his sister Sarah. He's gonna be. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be picking things up a little bit now. We're gonna be picking things up a little bit while they're all getting tuned up and tuned up and plugged in and mic'd up and everything else. I want to teach you all this song. You might know it. It's a song called Two Bottles of Wine. That's right. Now, now for those at home and for those on the stage keeping track, this song is just a 12-bar blues in G, except it's really, really fast. Really fast. And how it works is, whenever I sing Two Bottles of Wine, y'all yell back. That's correct, only not half-assed like that. You really yell back Two Bottles of Wine. We better practice to make sure we got it. So let's try this. Two bottles of wine. Two bottles of wine. Two bottles of wine. Two bottles of wine. Now it's pretty good, but it's about ten times that loud and it's faster. Two bottles of wine. 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 All right, that sounds like we're getting it pretty good. Dex, how you doing over there? I'm ragged, but I'm right. All right, good, 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 good. Dom, you feeling good? Oh yeah. Sarah, you back here on the big drum? You good? All right, big damn band, how are we? All right, then. Well, let's start it off in band. Do the honors. He just said, Whisper the night. Better hurry, guys, and don't tell my wife. Two piles of wine. Two piles of wine. Two piles of wine. Find who is you through a class. Two and two piles of wine. She been drinking coffee. He just said, Whisper the night. Better hurry, guys, and don't tell my wife. Two piles of wine. Two piles of wine. Two piles of wine. On top, go, 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 go. Tom, keep going, keep going.
Thank you all so much. We've been Reverend Payton's Big Damn Band. Let's hear it for Dex Romweber, the Dex Romweber duo. Let's hear it for Mr. Dom Flemings. And of course, the Big Damn Band, Ben Bird Dog Bustle on the drums. And my wife, Washboard Breezy, on the washboard. Thank you all so much. From the bottom of my heart, y'all, thank you so much.